presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, my top 10 favorite new features added by Renewed Vision to Pro Presenter in 2021. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you were excited by any of the new features added in 2021, uh, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell icon, etc., and uh, give me a thumbs up. So there was all sorts of weeping and gnashing of teeth uh, about two years ago when ProPresenter 7 was announced um, by some people. Others saw it as a brilliant idea, uh, saying because of ProPresenter Plus, which enables you to always have the latest version of ProPresenter. Very inexpensive compared to doing a um, an upgrade every couple of years. So there was that. But what people didn't know at the time that now we know is Renewed Vision has used ProPresenter Plus as an opportunity to just really take ProPresenter's features to the next level. So Without further ado, I thought that I would share my top 10 favorite new features that they added this year with uh, ProPresenter 7. Now, with that said, this isn't all the features, and I'm not going to go through all the features because, frankly, I don't have time. So, let me start talking about them, and uh, we'll go from there. So my first favorite feature is new objects in the stage screen. So if we head over to my computer and go to screens and then edit layouts, not only do we have these uh, normal ones here, but I can add different things. So let me just click on one of these text boxes here and... Um, Click on text up here, and now you'll notice that uh, for linked text, I have not only current slide, next slide, but they also added things like um, the presentation name, capture status, etc. So that's something cool that was added in ProPresenter 7 just in 2021. Another thing is content. Uh, Fill with. So we're actually seeing this um, on my screen here. There are three different ways that we can do this. We can either uh, make it just as wide as each of the lines, or as wide as the longest line, or the width of the text box itself. Something else that they added in ProPresenter 7. Uh, next is inactive computers. So if we head back to my computer and I go up here to ProPresenter and then uh, Registration, I could click on Active here and change that to Inactive. Why would I want to do that? Well, it keeps this computer on my account as one of my ProPresenter machines that is registered, kind of. But it enables me to buy a, a Bible for just this machine if I wanted to. And so if I had this machine, let's say at home, and I wanted to add scripture for sermon notes, don't have to type it in anymore, don't have to find it somewhere, copy and paste it, any of that craziness. No, I can use the built-in Bible app with a registered Bible on an inactive machine. So that's something that's uh, really cool. Now, keep in mind, there was a lot of confusion about this, that uh, a Bible can only be used at one place at one time. So if I bought a version of the New King James, I can only use it on my computer. I can't also use that one uh, license on the church computer unless I were to go back and forth but 
trust me, that's not very reliable. So I wouldn't want to do that. So that is my next favorite feature that they added in 2021. 20, uh, one of the others is new layers. So it used to be the case that the messages layer and the props layer up here were one layer. So if you wanted to send messages to one screen and props to another screen, there really wasn't an easy way to do that. Well, in 2021, they added that as a feature. And usually adding a new layer, that's, that's a big deal. So when they went from ProPresenter 6 to ProPresenter 7, they added the announcements layer right here. So in 2021, while we're still for naming purposes only on ProPresenter 7, now we have a new layer. We've split out messages from props. And that's very helpful, especially with all the screens that you can use in ProPresenter 7. Um, scrolling text is something else that has uh, been added. One thing that they left in by mistake is the UI for scrolling text back when uh, they released ProPresenter 7. But it didn't actually work until 2021 when it was part of one of the updates. So if you go into uh, edit and go to, um, sorry, if we go into edit right here and uh, click on any text box under text, we have scrolling. So I can make that scroll now from any of the four major directions, uh, where it starts, speed, feathering. I've got a lot of control. And by the way, I'll leave links to all the tutorials where I cover these 10 features below because I'm just speeding through these really fast. The next thing that they added, I'm going to have to make my little thumbnail go away because it's down here, and that is macros. So it used to be the case that if you wanted to add an action to a slide, you had to add it one by one. So if you had five or six actions, that might be okay once, but if you add that over and over again, it could get really annoying. So now you can add them on here as uh, basically presets, and then you can click on them at any time. You can drag them onto any slide so that you don't have to remake them week in and week out. And they can do a lot of great things that uh, are just pretty incredible. So uh, look into my tutorial on macros for something else. Custom clears, this was added uh, fairly recently in the last couple of updates. And you'll notice that I have, instead of one clear all button, I have five here. You can add more, but there are only uh, shortcuts for five here. <clears throat> so you can do things like, right here, I have clear everything but the announcements layer. Um, I could clear everything but the live video layer. Or let's say I had uh, someone that liked to do clear all all the time and it messed things up and then they got panicked and didn't know what to do. You can make a clear that doesn't clear anything. So uh, that's actually what this one is. So basically you could hide all the other custom clears or just not use them and have a custom clear that doesn't do a full thing so they won't be confused. So that's something else that I love that they've added in ProPresenter 7. One of the sleeper features, one of the ones that I don't think everyone is as excited about as maybe they should be, is Planning Center integration. So if we go up here to uh, ProPresenter, then Preferences, then down to Services, um, there are a couple of new checkboxes under Planning Center Online, and one of them is you can upload your media from ProPresenter and uh, presentations, which is the ProPresenter name for each of these things on the left-hand side. You can upload those into Planning Center, and then from another machine, you can download them. So you can 
basically do a sink that way. Now, there's not a ton of storage space in Planning Center, so you wouldn't want to upload everything you've ever done to Planning Center and try and download everything you've ever done. This isn't like a, um, a backup utility. It's just the ability to transfer everything from one machine to another over the Internet. So very helpful if you make stuff at home or in your office and then you need to transfer that to church, you can do that with Planning Center Online now. Something you couldn't do in 2020, but now you can here in 2021. Um, another thing that people have been scrambling for and really wanting is text attributes on other screens. Now, there was a way to do that um, earlier with, let me click on one of these. Okay, so there was a way to do that earlier with notes, and it was a bit of a hack. But now what we can do is... Um, If you go into screens and then edit looks and you add a look that has an alternative um, layout. So let's uh, click here and I'm going to put a uh, lower third here for that alternate um, theme. Anything that I change like bolding, etc., would carry over. So I think, yep. So notice how I had this for me uh, lit up here in uh, blue. Might be hard to see, but over here you can see that that did in fact uh, carry over. So that is something that there was a lot of uh, requests for, and uh, Renewed Vision went ahead and did that. Also, that works for builds as well. So if you've got a build where it's like a bulleted list reveal or fill in the blank, that also transfers over. So that's uh, something that people have been really excited about. And finally, my number 10, and by the way, these aren't in any order, but uh, other than kind of chronologically, uh, is network link they added network link which there used to be a not as great version in ProPresenter 6 that was a paid add-on called the master control module doesn't exist in ProPresenter 7 but in ProPresenter 7 8 and newer we have network link and basically it turns uh, all instances of ProPresenter that you want connected together so if you have a site license and you don't want the kids' computers connected to the main computer, they don't have to be. But all the ones that you want connected are uh, able to control one another as long as you're showing the same playlist. So you can have the same playlist with alternate um, slides showing up, uh, you know, different pictures, different layouts, etc., and have it work like that. So that's an, another way to add additional screens, for example, in ProPresenter 7, and it's something that is really cool, um, and I'm glad that they added that. So those are my top 10 favorite uh, new additions to ProPresenter 7 in 2021. Now, as I'm recording this, it's 2022, and as you're watching it, it's 2022 or after. So I think we're going to see a lot of, a uh, lot more great new features. Uh, quite frankly, I don't envy Renewed Vision because I'm running out of ideas about what they could add. Um, they've gone through all the list of um, features with the exception of maybe one or two minor things. Um, so I'm excited to see where this goes and what they're going to add in 2022. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. 
put in your name and email address, and I will make a login for you where you can take that course whenever you want for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.